Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. George is all about the Philippines. Someone told me I should have uh, my name Sir George of late because every time I go somewhere, it's Sir George, Sir George. So, uh, but no, my name, my channel is George is all about the Philippines. I'll keep it the way it is. Uh, and uh, today's topic, make a long story short is about doctors everybody i think if you're an expat or you're planning to come over overseas you always want to know about medical most people do so what i'm going to talk about is some things i've experienced from my own personal vantage point uh between uh the subic bay area and going elsewhere for medical care subic bay really you've got a few hospitals but you know gordon and just not the place you want to go in my opinion and from everything I've been told read everything else uh, and other people's experiences Bay Point I thought that would be a good place to go uh, but the problem with Bay Point on SBMA or the base is um, if you make an appointment if you're not familiar with the way appointments usually work in the Philippines for doctors uh, they do a window so you still have to have an appointment, but let's say their window is 10 to 12 in the morning. Okay, so you would make an appointment in advance. You go, and then you show up, and it's first come, first go. Well, Bay Point, plan on being there all day. A few times, myself and other people I know have gone uh, in the last year or so. Plan on eight hours. It's just the way it is. So many people doctors kind of are there they're not there they leave to come back it's just not a very smooth process on the other hand if you want to drive an hour or you have the ability to do so or hire a driver it's much more convenient to go to Clark go to Clark Medical Center uh, and Clark Medical City they have uh, uh, I don't know it's just a much smoother process uh, you go there and they have their windows to the doctors and uh, but normally there's only a few people uh, usually last three times I've been I've been every time for whatever reason I get there a little bit before the window opens and I'm usually second person I think one time I was third the other two times I was second person uh, I didn't have to wait too long uh, and I was in and out within an hour uh, say so it takes me an hour to get up there if I'm not doing anything else in Angeles City then you say an hour at the doctor hour and a half max but usually an hour and then an hour back so that's three hours compared to sitting in a hot hospital a Bay Point for eight hours just saying and uh, if you have an HMO or let's say you're you have track care primarily US military uh, they both have track care kind of offices or HMO offices uh, but it's just a lot nicer smoother process at Clark uh, Bay Point they're on the upper on the second floor in Bay Point at Clark they're on the first floor kind of when you come in the main entrance over to the left and uh, you go in there and see the TRICARE lady first or whatever your HMO is and then you uh, she'll give you a pre-authorization form and then you go on up to your appointment. So if I've got a, let's say, 10 to 12 window, I'll show up there between 9.30 and 9.45. It only takes a couple minutes. I get my pre-approval, walk up. I walk in, give it to the uh, secretary, the doctor, uh, and then, or the receptionist, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and then uh, I go back out, I kind of sit outside and wait and they tell you you know there's one in front of you or two or what number you are uh, so it it's just a very smooth process you, uh, if you have questions afterwards you can go back to track care otherwise uh, the doctor will usually keep that authorization and you just leave uh, last time I was up there I decided I want to get uh, some more uh, just uh, we'll say procedures done uh, or schedule so they immediately told me where to go I was on the same floor near my doctor and I uh, got that schedule pretty easy process again on my way and you're set up uh, 
and talk about money. Most of the procedures for doctor, even some of the dentists, around a thousand pesos. So you're talking about eighteen dollars maybe right now. And if you have Tricare, you're still going to pay the thousand because that's your copay. Where Tricare, I was wondering what's the point of having Tricare and paying the monthly dues or whatever you got is and it was explained to me by the TRICARE lady at Clark that what happens is uh, if you have procedures done then that's where you're really saving I think don't hold me to it but I think it's 80% TRICARE pays you pay 20% and uh, that's pretty much the way it works um, and you go from there but uh, one thing I had one I send in from uh, Bay Point, must have been over a year ago. Haven't heard nothing about it. I need to call Tricare now. Uh, the lady at Clark gave me the number. But as far as for uh, going forward, anytime you go to Clark, the lady said she would follow up for you, uh, make sure it got processed, and and you got your claim. So that's a that's a good thing too. Uh, they weren't that accommodating at Bay Point, uh, but uh, yeah. So if if you're going to go i would recommend uh going to um clark medical city if not go to st luke's there's a couple of them now in manila i heard there's a uh clark medical city there's a medical city over in manila as well now um and so those that's that's good if you got something more serious or you don't want to you know go here then i'd go back to your home country if it's the u.s fly back to the u.s especially if anything real serious uh if it's routine stuff physicals checkups whatever then that's fine uh but uh, clark is uh seemed to be a very good uh, uh hospital and so is st luke's uh that's just some thoughts on hospitals and medical coverage here hope it helps thanks for watching all right okay next topic we've got is golf I've shown some videos with the new driving range on SBMA well today I want to talk about uh, the Subic Bay International Golf Course uh, on SBMA um, I know a lot of people play up in San Miguel there's a golf course going toward uh, Angeles forget the name of it but much lower in price uh, this golf course has always been kind of high especially since I've been back over here I thought it had a recent change of ownership and the prices came down but today I found out that's not true uh, change of ownership was five or six years ago well before I got back over here living uh, and the prices don't seem to have changed to me they're they're pretty high as far as the price goes um, I did find out that uh, to be a member uh, it's quite expensive I'm not sure how much of an advantage you get by being a member I think they told me it was 8,000 uh, this 80,000 pesos uh, to be a member to be a member uh, 80,000 pesos for the rest of this year I think regular price is over a hundred thousand per year then you've got a fee of 6,000 monthly dues you got and then you've got uh, and that's once you're a member and then every time you play it's going to be 2,900 pesos so 50 something dollars every time you play on top of those other fees uh, weekdays if you're a guest with a member it's a little less than on of course weekend or holiday if you're a guest without playing with a member or with a member it's going to cost you six thousand pesos for i believe 18 holes so it's not it's not cheap it's pretty pricey and what that does include is your green fee caddy fee uh cart fee and they've got a land lease fee whatever that is i have no idea and insurance and an etaf so those are all the charges that kind of add up to your 6,000 pesos you're going to play. Uh, and that's what it's going to include uh, with that. Uh, so if you just want to come play, you can pay that. Not worry about all the membership and dues and all that. 
they I did find out their restaurant is open to the public so you can go in there if you want to eat that's fine you can go in there you don't have to be a member for that it is open to the public and I'm gonna post uh, you know some of this information I got I'll post it on there I've also got a little video of a little bit of the outside and also uh, uh, the course more of a drive-by the course and then uh, I've got uh, a little bit of the, showing you the restaurant area. It's very nice, big open windows. I mean, glass window. I mean, you can see out there huge. You see the course. It's very nice. It's not not a bad environment if you want to go eat. So I'll give them that. But uh, I even recommend. I say, you know, if you cut down the price in half, you would get a lot more in volume than just trying to make a lot in you know money you know charging so much but I know that they're not gonna listen to me uh, I just mentioned that but uh, yeah it is so expensive but uh, beautiful course so I give them that beautiful course like I said inside is nice uh, uh, it just there's a lot of fees a lot of a lot of a lot of money going on there uh, so if you like to play golf a lot be pretty pricey uh, so there's no if you're a member playing for free or much of anything else uh, it's it's pretty pricey, so thought I'd throw that out there and uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, but uh, like I said, I will show some video on that stuff. And anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Take care always.